In this video, we'll take a look at the minimum software setup you'll need to get started with running the ZCU111 RFSOC Data Converter Evaluation Tool. In the previous video, I showed how to find the latest useful documents to get up and running with the eval tool, so if you don't know how to find some of the documents I show in this video, you can watch that one. I'm starting from the Xilinx Wiki article with the Getting Started Guide for the eval tool. If you go to the Design Tools and Software section, you'll see that there's a lot of software listed here if you want to do development based on the reference design. But if you just want to get going with the pre-built images to quickly try things out, you can skip some of these large downloads and long installations for now. If you go to the Xilinx Design Hub, for the Zinc UltraScale Plus RF SOC ZCU111 Evaluation Kit, you'll see that there is a software installation and board setup tutorial. Instead of getting the old 2018.2 version from the hub, I'm going to go to the product page documentation tab where I've sorted it by date to get the latest and then downloaded that one from there, XTP518. Now if we open up XTP518, um, one of the useful things to do will be to install the UART drivers. So if you don't already have those installed, there's a pointer here uh, for you to do that. And then also in XTP518, there's some information about how to install a terminal emulator program if you don't already have one installed. Um, you can follow the instructions in UG1036 and then uh, configure it as follows here. Going back to the product page documentation tab, I downloaded the reference design file for UG1287 um, for the eval tool. So I've already unzipped that, and if I go to the GUI folder, there's a zip file here, which I've also unzipped, and then here there's an exe file, which you can double click on, and then that will install the user interface on your PC. Then going back to the wiki page with the getting started guide for the eval tool, there is a section on micro SD card preparation. So if you aren't using the micro SD card that came with your board or you might have already changed the formatting on it, then you can get this SD formatter tool to create a fat partition. Uh, but for me, I'm using the SD card that came with the board, and I haven't changed the formatting, so it's already in FAT32 format for me. Hopefully these tips are useful to you to save you some time uh, before getting started with the RFSOC evaluation tool. Thanks for watching.